or you'll be surprised at what is going on currently right now. One Adewale Adebayo, the presidential candidate for STP, is saying that I am far away from Nigeria. If I say that Tinubu or IGP does not like, they can get me in 24 hours and land me in Abuja. So this is what he's talking about. And you will get to understand what really, truly, everything that is happening, you'll be able to understand it clearly. Now, insecurity in Nigeria has put this country in this, you know, in a very, very devastating state, so much so that people are trying to understand what the next line of action will be. Students, we are returning from school in Adoikiti, and we all saw what happens to them, you know. We all saw what happened to those students children precisely and you know the driver and the you know one of the head teachers and the school bus and now the kidnappers are asking for ransom uh, but, but apart from that two you know traditional leaders were killed this is nigeria for you and everybody's just watching trying to understand what next to be done i'm far away from nigeria if i say what tinubu or igp doesn't like they can get me in 24 hours and land me in abuja after all Buhari kidnapped Unandi Kano. Adewale Adebayo, a former presidential candidate of the SDP, has spoken about the issue of banditry, kidnapping, and crime going on in Nigeria. He said there are no formidable crimes in the country that the government cannot uh, criminals, I beg your pardon. There are no formidable criminals in the country that the government cannot apprehend if they genuinely truly intend to do so. He emphasized that the government capacity to locate and bring individuals to justice, regardless of their location, is paramount. They have a lot in their disposal to use and to work in this regard. Did Buhari not trace on the canoe all the way from Great Britain to Kenya and brought him to Nigeria? If a government is not part of any of these things going on, they will do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that they locate these people. Other nations deal with criminals intensely. Nigeria give them a pat on the back and call them repentant. In an interview with AIT, Adewale stated that despite being far away from Nigeria, if he voiced something displeasing to President Tinubu, Radu, Rabidu or Inspector General of Police have the a capacity to apprehend him within 24 hours, although not in Nigeria, and bring him back to the nation's capital. So I tell you, they are using excuse of casual to not to do what they want. If they see that the country has no has no 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 excuse, whether casualty or anyone, they will know that that game is up. He also urged for a more serious approach in addressing the challenges, emphasizing importance of asking important question in government. Adewale stated that Nigerians need to begin to ask the government for accountability. If what Tinubu and IGP are doing is giving excuses, then that is not good enough because I know the capacity of any government. They can do and undo and ensure that things are done properly and bring the nation out of all kinds of oppression. So if anything is not working, I believe seriously that the government want it so. If they want things to work differently, they will approach things properly and in a more intense manner. With what is going on currently today, we do not understand all of this going on. It is important that we begin to see it holistically and bring in the right approaches in order to end every abnormality and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. The insecurity can be dealt with if the government is ready. So that's what our brother has said. The SDP presidential candidate is said it to him. He feels very strongly that if a government really wants to end insecurity, they will do much more than excuse. He said there is no excuse, okay? There is no excuse whatsoever, you know. Uh, there is no excuse whatsoever that cannot be dealt with. If the government really sincerely, truly wants this matter to be dealt with once and for all, they will rise up. They are rising up. It will go a long way to serve, to, to, to serve you know, as a deterrent to all other personnel who have an intention of committing crime. He said carrying out criminal activity in, in, in a nation, a sovereign nation, it shows that is either there are persons involved 
who do not want manifestation of you know of those things to be revealed if not it does not see a reason okay from the north to the south why things cannot be done decently and in order and the government holding on to responsibility ensuring that things are done properly it says for any government to see you know to see to it that things are done well that government must come out and speak to the nation speak to the people and be honest you know all these people we are talking about they are not ghosts they are humans living in the living on the earth so we are we are we are we really and sincerely truly with all of this if we really want the truth to be manifested every one of us have got a duty to ensure that we do things properly decently and in order in order to you know make sure that things do not escalate even any further so to be quite candid there's a lot going on and then um, the government of nigeria needs to own up to responsibility i believe that tinubu's government is more intentional than buhari's government ever was buhari government felt like there was more sabotage to the whole situation than there is you know truth in order to em emphasize and to ensure that you know the difference is, is clear and is made so it is what it is if there is anything we need to do right now is ensuring that the right things are done so that we can save this nation you know from everything and anything that does not move her forward so it is it is a very very serious one and everybody's watching and we want you know truth to become the essence of the day so that we do not leave ourselves in the hands of those who wants to destroy the nation okay so the government of the nation should understand that there are people who are working as sabotage who do not want this country to see the light of day there are people who are working as sabotage and their mission statement is to ensure that Nigeria does not succeed. So what are we doing in essence in order to ensure that these people are brought to a stop and that things are done decently and in order? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember you have a voice. Remember that every one of us must do everything humanly speaking possible to change the course of what is going on so that Nigeria can move forward. You know, the essence of a good governance is so that the people can benefit greatly from what, you know, that, that government has got to offer and that the people can live their life the way they ought to. Okay? Remember, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.